Today on Capitol Hill, senators are getting briefed on the suspected Chinese surveillance balloon that was shot down off the Carolina coast over the weekend. It comes as U.S. officials reveal new details about the balloon. Yesterday, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said U.S. officials believe it is part of a larger surveillance program by China that spans the globe. Senior administration officials are on the Hill this week, and we already shared information with dozens of countries around the world, both from Washington and through our embassies. We're doing so because the United States was not the only target of this broader program, which has violated the sovereignty of countries across five continents. NBC News congressional correspondent Julie Sirkin joins us now with more details. Julie, good morning. We'll talk more about the briefing in just a moment. But first, U.S. officials are revealing more details about the balloon and its capabilities. What are they saying? Yeah, good morning, Joe. Look, about 45 minutes from Washington, where I am right now, officials are pouring over the remains of this downed balloon in Quantico, Virginia. And some of the things they've already discovered about this balloon is that this is not a, a sole occasion, right? They believe that China has deployed the fleet of these devices in different shapes and sizes all around the globe in more than 40 countries, five continents. And they say they were able to get that information by not only allowing this balloon to traverse across the U.S., but also from these remnants they're able to put together from where this balloon was down in the body of water. But still a big question that remains, Joe, is whether Beijing was able to collect this intelligence in real time or whether they're only able to access this intelligence information once the balloon has made its way back to China. So that's one of the things that officials are still pouring over uh, in the early hours of this morning. You know, one thing we know, Julie, this was not the first Chinese surveillance balloon flight over the U.S. yesterday. The Pentagon's press secretary said that in recent years, the military failed to detect at least three other spy balloon flights over the U.S. So how are U.S. officials addressing this and what's China saying about these balloons? Yeah, U.S. officials are saying that they were not able to detect these balloons, at least three or four of them, uh, before in airspace until afterwards. Now they're saying, uh, due in part to this balloon that they were able to down and study, uh, they believe they're able to accurately uh, address these balloons in the future. So they're trying to spin this down balloon that, of course, many Republicans that some of the officials are going to face today on Capitol Hill. Uh, are slamming the Biden administration for, but they're saying that this discovery uh, was actually a positive one in the way that they handled it. Take a listen to what more they had to say yesterday. No, it was not an intelligence failure. We've learned a lot about these balloons, and we've learned a lot how to track them, as evidenced by the fact that, again, we were tracking it as it approached U.S. airspace. Uh, and so we're confident that what we've learned about this program enables us to uh, to be able to monitor and be on the lookout for these kinds of capabilities. Yeah, so of course they'll answer a lot of questions today on Capitol Hill, but meanwhile Chinese authorities continue to maintain that this is a civilian weather balloon and they're expressing outrage that the U.S. took it down. Of course, that's an explanation the U.S. officials are not buying. Yeah, and Julie, let's talk about Capitol Hill. Senators expected to receive a classified briefing on the balloon later this morning. Real quickly here, what's that briefing going to focus on? Yeah, Joe, today is all about China on Capitol Hill in the House and the Senate. They will receive a classified briefing from officials from the Department of Defense, from state uh, and the Pentagon, of course, to describe not only about this Chinese balloon, but remember, this was a pre-planned briefing before this balloon was discovered. They're going to talk about how the U.S. will match up to China in geomilitary uh, political capabilities, other matters of surveillance, because it's not a secret that the U.S. spies on China, China spies on the U.S., and this is definitely a top concern for lawmakers, especially when it comes to this balloon, because in addition to the briefing, there will also be at least two hearings held today in the Senate to uh, discuss the threats of this balloon posed and how we can prevent uh, the U.S. airspace from being vulnerable in the future. All right, Julie Sirkin. Julie, thank you so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.